Merry Christmas! Yep, it's that time of year and I am super excited. It is my favorite time of year and we're going to talk about some of the reasons why this morning. But first, it is time for a Christmas quiz. All right, so question number one. You ready? Who really loves coming to church every week? Who gets really excited about praying to God? Hmm? Yeah, I, 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 I promise you this is Christmassy. Let's go for the last one. What would be one word you would use to describe your feelings about reading the Bible? And that's all the questions we have time for today, moving swiftly along. We'll come back to that. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things about Christmas, and that thing is joy. There are many reasons I like joy. I could probably fill a book. But I think before we talk about how much we like it, we should probably actually discuss what joy is. Now, when we use the word joy, we often think about happiness and sunshine, rainbows, butterflies, and all that kind of thing. But that isn't exactly what I would call joy. See, if that is what joy is, then what about all the times which aren't so nice? When it's, you know, dark and hard and things hurt? Well, the Bible has a lot to say about it all the way through, from the very beginning right to the very end. And here's what I think it means. Joy is the feeling that comes from knowing that God loves us. And yeah, that does make me feel pretty happy. But what about the times when I'm not happy? Joy can still be in me because part of knowing God loves me means that I can have hope that even when things are really hard, I know that he still loves me and that things will get better because he has a plan. Knowing God loves us also means that we can feel safe knowing that God holds the whole world in his hands. So even when we're not happy, we can still have joy. The other thing that the Bible often talks about, and Paul says it in a command, is that we need to give joy back to God. In Philippians, Paul says, rejoice! Again I tell you, rejoice! Joy comes from God. It's a gift and it fills us up and it's wonderful, even when things are really tough, but also when things are amazing. But the thing about joy is that to show God we love him, we give it back to him when we rejoice. And this is where that Christmas quiz comes in. Going to church, praying to God, and reading our Bibles are some of the ways that we can talk to him and express that love. So if we don't feel really excited about praying, if we're not too keen on going to church, well, that's something we really need to think about. Maybe if you're finding these things hard, talk to your mum or dad, or maybe even me about it. There might be things that we at church can do to help, or your mum and dad could also have some really good ideas. So. What does this all have to do with Christmas? Well, in one of the most famous stories of all time, the story about when our Saviour came to Earth, a whole group of angels burst into the sky and frightened the living daylights out of some shepherds. But when they spoke to them, they said, do not be afraid, because we bring you glad news of great joy. See, if knowing God loves us brings us joy, and if sending Jesus to save us from our sins was a sign of God's love, then Jesus' birth is the best joy ever. That day, in a stable, a baby was born. But this baby was the hope for all people ever. All the ones who'd come before and all the ones that would come after, including you and me. On the very first Christmas, God invited people to come and meet this great joy that was Jesus being born on earth. He invited the shepherds by sending angels into their field. These people who weren't all that popular and probably a bit smelly to come and see his son, the king of all kings being born on earth. 
He invited wise men, strangers from another land, to come and meet this king. Now, this Christmas, the same invitation is open to you. You're invited, not to the stable, but to know this great joy that is Jesus who's come to save us. This Jesus who is still alive today and still loves us. This Jesus who wants to be your friend and bring you into his family. If only you'll say you love him and that you're sorry for the wrong things you've done. Just like at Christmas, we can respond in many ways to this invitation. The wise men responded by bringing the very best of all they had. The shepherds responded by coming and worshipping Jesus. And then they got so excited by it, they went and told everyone around them. And all the people who heard about Jesus from the shepherds were amazed. Or will you choose to respond like the third person who was invited to Jesus' birth? Herod was so afraid to lose control that he was angry at Jesus and sent people to kill him. I'd like to think this Christmas that I won't get wrapped up in all the fun presents and all the great food and all the pretty lights. This Christmas, I want to give Jesus the very best I have and I want to tell everyone about him because this is the best joy ever.